we asked before who's going to stay undefeated the longest, Miami, Philly, San Francisco. You wonder what's the poll results as they currently stand right now, Chris Brockman? Yeah, the last undefeated team in the NFL, 49ers, 53%. Dolphins, 27%. Eagles, 20%. What do you think? I, I'm with you. The, the 49ers, based on their schedule. I okay. mean, the the real, they got, you know, the Cardinals this week. I think the Cowboys. And then their schedule just kind of lays out. I think what the, the Dolphins and Eagles meet a little bit earlier. I mean, so that's going to happen. I, I just think it's it's going to be the 49ers. And, and how about this for a sleeper MVP? Please. Brock Purdy. When are, pe- when are people going to start talking about <laughs> This guy being legit. Hey, when he does it for me, a full season. Please check out my Friday show open after they beat the uh, Giants. That's yeah. how I came on the air. It's 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 got to be part of the discussion. That's why I love having him on. Look, I always <laughs> love guests who echo my sentiments. Yes. <laughs> but I also, uh, you know, genuinely like you when we're not on the air, as you know. Well, um, same here, Rick. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just because he, he, you can't call a player an MVP or an assassin – uh, when he looks like he's going to home economics, you know what I mean? Like that's it's just I think that's exactly what it looks like. it, that, that, that's that's maybe what it is. Did you talk to his teammates? Please, he's got that Joe Burrow killer in him. Is that right? Right. They are like you know he may look like this dude, but we know if we have to go forty yards in forty five seconds. He is going to have fun with it. What do you mean, Joe Burrow killer? He's got that. Like Joe Burrow's like you know, no, Joe I, Burrow's an assassin, right? Right. Like, and, and so they're like, he's got that in him. And even after that Giants game where Wink Martindale was warming him up, Tweeted I mean, he, up. Was, yeah, yeah. he was sending people. He was just like, whatever, hit me, I'm still coming. And that's when more guys again were more and more like, this is our guy. And there's an old saying in football: you know, you got your quarterback that everyone's going to respond to if he will dive in a pile for a fumble. Niners guys, Brock Purdy's that guy. So let's talk about the two and one team that might rise. We'll throw the Cowboys out of it because obviously Dallas, prior to that right. clunker in Arizona, in the conversation amongst the league's elite, and I still th- I still think that they are. Trayvon yeah. Diggs being oh, yeah. hurt, it, you know, notwithstanding, uh, you got Cleveland, you've got Pittsburgh, you've got the Ravens, yep. you've got um, you know, let's throw the Chiefs out as well. Correct. Um, any team in the NFC South, you've got the Commanders, you've got the Seahawks. Which team would you buy? right now out of all of them that I just mentioned? Well, out of all of them, I'm buying Cleveland. Go for it. Um, Their defense is insane. We we knew Jim Schwartz, the new defensive coordinator, was going to make a difference. He has made a significant difference. I mean, what he's doing with Miles Garrett, he's not static. He's moving him all over the line of scrimmage. How about the Titans sending tight ends? I've never seen it. I've never seen that either. Shadowing him to the point where it caused a (laughs) pre-snap penalty on the Titans. A delay of game. I've never seen that. We're doing this? We're doing this now? Right. I mean, usually they'll just, you know, someone will look and say, okay, you pick him up, you know, if, if yeah, we let's need help. Chip. We'll chip we'll one chip. guy. <laughs> the Titans like, no. were like, <laughs> the like, screw that. It's like, you're that good. And I mean, they're lining him up over center. You're seeing more and more stand up guys. Uh-huh. Max Crosby's doing it. Micah Parsons doing it. But what he's doing, because he's got Zedaria Smith and he's got some interior guys and some depth on the interior who are playing. They're right. healthy at linebacker and they've got stud corners, you know, in, uh, in, in Newsom and uh, I'm. I'm and Ward. And Ward. Mm-hmm. So they are, but what I saw to Deshaun last week, mm-hmm. after having just a, not a good game against the Steelers and they were warming him up too, he, Nick, Nick Chubb's not in there, so he may say, okay, now we can run more of the shotgun stuff, more of what I like to do and not focus so much on the run game. We'll, we'll incorporate it, but now we can run an offense, more of what I like to do instead of me having to share some of these duties you know, he's a, he's a shotgun quarterback. He's not someone under center who's got to hand the ball off. So now they're adjusting to him more so than adjusting to Chubb. I think he's going to come around. Because, you know, Amari Cooper, we don't talk about him enough being a great not. receiver. Right. You saw what they did against Tennessee You think together. they can win the division? Yes. Yeah, I've been saying that from the jump. I think they can win the division. And now with Burrow being in his situation, it's going to be, a, I mean, it's going to be a slog just because that division's really good. Yes. But Cleveland could very much win that division. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they, they've they got uh, another division game. I mean, the AFC North was, you know, the first week, month of the, the season is brought to you by the AFC North. Yes. Cleveland's playing Baltimore at home. That's going to be Ooh. such a good game. Always is. I mean, because the Ravens, you know, coming off that loss. Uh, catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.